Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to the RC Retro Channel. In this episode, well, we're going to be taking a look at something a little different that hasn't been featured on this channel. And what I mean by that is a manufacturer or RC that I know very little about or even knew that they existed. So, we featured Kyosho and Tamiya here on the channel. That's predominantly what this channel has been founded on. Team Associated, Losi, and one Marui, that being the Ninja. But other than that, no other manufacturers until now, that is. So what do we have here? Well, we have a Harobo Toyota Hilux. I'm going to just bring that forward. I have not taken this out of the box yet. I have just opened it up to take a look, and we're going to take this out in a second and unbox it. But before we even do that, I have to thank my buddy Keith over at RC Icons for um, <laughs> feeding my RC addiction, I want to say. So thank you, Keith. Uh, Keith started his channel a few months back and has done a ton of unboxing videos. He has a huge, huge collection and um, has a whole bunch of different RC manufacturers on there that I never even heard of. So he pretty much opened my eyes to the vintage world of RC beyond Kyosho and Tamiya. Um, so thank you, Keith, and also for getting me to spend a lot of money. <laughs> All right, so he had a whole bunch of uh, Herobos uh, that just came to his channel um, and um, kind of you know, got me then to start looking on different websites while I look for vintage RCs. And I came across this and was debating on getting this for a few weeks and then you know through text messaging with Keith and speaking with him he finally convinced me to pull the trigger and get one he's like you gotta have at least one in your collection right so I bought it and I'm not gonna say it was inexpensive and I'm not gonna say it was a fair price it was it was really expensive uh, probably one of the top five most expensive RC's in my collection but I think it's well worth it because it is the only truck from what I know of that Herobo actually put out. They put out all buggies. It was released on their 44B chassis and we'll take a close look when we unbox this. But um, just so you know, um, when I say the 44B, it stands for 4x4 buggy. Now Herobo, here's a fun fact. In the 60s and 70s was actually a textile company and in the late 70s tried to diversify or actually did diversify and wanted to get into electronics or rc cars and so in 1983 they put out the rockin city or the um rockin vega i'm not sure which one came first in 1983 but from what i understand these were the first four-wheel drive rcs ever and they were belt driven they weren't even chained other RC companies that put out four-wheel drive vehicles not too long after them were chain-driven and were much louder. These were much quieter. So that's very interesting. And then came the Lancia Rally, and then this, the Toyota truck, and then a bunch of other uh, off-road four-wheel drive vehicles thereafter. And then that didn't really last too long. They only put a few out, and we're not going to get into those. But um, they started to get into RC helicopters, and while they dropped the... Uh, car from there from from manufacturing they continued on with helicopters and still continue to today so um, this intrigued me because it was their only truck it was a really cool body and I figured that's awesome so um, that's why I went with this one so uh, I'm glad I was able to add it to the collection and now it's time for us to start unboxing this okay so I'm gonna just take this and lift it out of the box while this is based on the 44 B chassis or the 4x4 buggy chassis it actually has a shortened wheelbase I'm not sure why maybe it was just so um, they can make this car more scale uh, I don't I don't really know but I call the car it's a truck take this let's put this off in my little small basement studio over there. Box seems to be in pretty good condition and I will keep this box because this is the only Horobo in my collection and probably the only Horobo to ever be in my collection because they are a little bit on the 
pricey side. So we'll get a close up of the box going around. And we're going to open this up and see what we have. Ooh, nicely packaged. I'm going to just gently place this one down over here. And. All right, cool. There's the body over here. And. Everything else is. <laughs> enveloped. And bubble wrapped up. <laughs> Look at that. And uh, here's what's remaining of the blistering packaging. So I guess the mechanical speed control was never put in. Got some, uh, it doesn't even say damper oil. It says dumper oil. I'm going to get a close, I swear. It's dumper. <laughs> and then, oh, the beautiful Toyota Hilux body over here. Not, not very big. All right, well, put that over here. And then we have some more bubble wrap. I want to make sure I don't... <laughs> That's just all over the place. This is a one-shot video. And then another envelope, I want to say with the manual and probably the stickers. So we're going to take this box. Make sure nothing else is in because I see some other stuff. Move it over. And I guess we're going to have to get out some scissors to open up this stuff. So hold on, I'm going to go in my drawer right over here. And uh, see what we have. I'm going to start off with this guy over here first. So, maybe I should just cut all the way across. You know, this video is going to take forever if I just do it like this. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to open up this one right here, which I have a feeling is the chassis that already came built. Not in this kit. This kit... It didn't come pre-built in this kit. This was a already pre-built, partially assembled kit. So I'm gonna open this up and then the, I'm gonna get off camera and I'm just gonna open up everything else, lay it on the table and come right back. But this I wanna actually open up and unbox. Well, one thing I'll tell you is that the dampers don't have their dumper oil in it. So <laughs> that's good. Oh, very nice. Wow, this thing is small. Look at that. It's like, hey. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like I said, it was a shortened wheelbase compared to the other ones. Um, the other, like the Rock and City Vega and um, the, the Lancia Rally also was on the 44B. So, all right, what do we have? Well, we have a bathtub chassis on here. Something that's really nice about this is that it has the Harobo logo etched on top over here. You have aluminum oiled filled shocks. You have all this nice ABS red plastic on here. You have um, double wishbone suspension on here. And what's really cool is you have a gear diff in here from what I read. And you have a belt driven transmission that you see over here. So it's open and exposed. Um, what else? From what I read online, you have a mix of metal bushings in here and ball bearings. So I want to say maybe the ball bearings are in the transmission. Uh, but yeah, look at that. It's pretty cool. And I've never even seen this before. Look at this. This connector is tiny. It's not like your typical Tamiya connector hanging off the motor over here. So that's something I'm going to have to look into. But yeah. All right. So let's take this clip off. And... This clip doesn't want to come off. There you go. There you go. And now the top comes off. Oh, this, is, this, is, this is mint condition. New. Never even ran. So Harobo right across top. Whoever put some stickers on there already. And. Uh, I don't know why. The steering is kind of like locked up. There's no servo in here, so I'll have to take a look at that as to why it's locked up. It's not, see how it's just not going back and forth? Maybe it has something to do with the dog bones in there. But yeah, look, take a look. There you go. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to unbox or unbag everything else, lay it out here, and we'll go through it really quick and uh, see what we have. So I'll be right back. All right, so I went and took everything out of the bags. 
unwrap the body and the issue also, before we go any further, with uh, the steering not going from side to side and being locked up was just one of the dog bones kind of popped out and was wedged. So I just popped it back in and now the steering is fine. So um, the body uh, is a little oily and I guess that's just from you know time. I'll give it a good wash. Uh, it's in really good condition. Oftentimes from bodies, um, you know, being in a box and sliding back and forth, they can get damaged, or in some cases, the body just has like corners that are kind of thin and weak and kind of get pushed in from sliding around in the box. But this, um, I'm not sure if it was a pre cut body or the original owner cut it out, but uh, it's in really great condition. There doesn't seem to be any weak points of this body. And once we give this a nice uh, soapy bath, we'll get all that oil off of it and we'll be good to go to paint it. Now this is a thing, the, the box cover um, is black, the body. However, the manual shows it in white and also has different stickers on it than the ones came with this. So here are the stickers for this one. So it's pretty much box art, same stickers that are on the box in black, on the manual, it's white and uh, different stickers. So I don't know if I can put that there. As far as the manual, well, um, it's a little confusing. But one thing I did notice in the manual is if we turn to the first step. It looks like your differential already comes pre built, also, um, you know, with the pulley on there as well. So it's just basically taking it out and then from step number one, just putting your arms on and uh, same thing with your front diff as well. So that's something I just noticed really quick when I open this up and take a look at it. So we'll just put that over there. As far as your wheels, uh, much like some of the other Herobos also, you have this nice chrome and red insert, Advan on the outside, nice big lettering so you could easily get your extra fine tip white Sharpie in there and do your tire lettering on there and make it pop. So I like that. So the uh, wheels and tires are in great condition. There's no pitting with the chrome. And as far as the tires, they are super shiny and supple and do not smell like a Tamiya or a Kyosho tire. That's just because these are like almost 40 years old. You think about it, this came out in the mid 80s. So let's say 85, 95, 2005, 2015. We're almost at 2025. This is almost 40 years old. Look at these tires. They're super shiny. There's no waxy coating on them. That's just awesome. All right, so what else do we have here? I'm just gonna take this, put it back in here. As far as the stickers, I know I showed them to you before. There is some bubbling on here. When I go to put these on, I will be using the warm soapy water method where we just kind of try to reactivate the stick. I might actually reach out uh, to MCI and ask them if they could scan these and make a duplicate copy just so I have a backup just in case. As far as what else we have in here, well, we have some more hardware in here and your metal rear bumper that's right over here. You have your gear cover. Boom, you have your roll bar right there like that. You have your uh, body mounts, your body posts here, and what looks like your just plastic side exhaust just to give this a little bit more of a scale look to it and a, and a realistic look. We have your grill. Uh, to go on the front of the body over here. And then uh, this goes on. I have to look at the directions to see how this goes on. You also have your side view, your plastic ABS side view mirrors and another front body mount in there. And then you have your really cool um, front bumper with your ABS plastic molded uh, toe winch right there. And it gets mounted on with this metal plate. And then we have some more spare parts right here. And then a, another bag that looks really, I don't know, you have a, a metal press piece in here. Uh, looks like your um, 
your arm, your steering arm in here that goes from your servo um, to your, um, I don't even know, you know what? Looks like all you gotta do is put a servo in here. I don't know, I don't know what that is. I don't know. One thing I do not see in here are your servo says, so I don't even know how you keep your servo in here down. So that's, that's odd. Tell me it's double side stick tape. Cause I don't even see holes for you to put servo stays in here. I'll have to look at the manual. Cause there is going to be a follow up video where I paint the tires, put the tires on, uh, paint up the body, do the stickers. We're going to get the body mounts on there. The gear cover, probably be a short video. Get this on, just, just, you know, there will be a follow-up video eventually. But then you have a, also, I just saw this, your um, metal um, antenna right here. Not even, well, you also have a plastic antenna right here, and then you have a metal antenna. <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, that's really about it for this Herobo. Um, definitely on the smaller side, is this, I guess this is a, is this 110? Is this 112? I gotta look at the box. I don't even know. Um, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. I told you, I don't know much about this. I'm just being very honest. But yeah, it's super cool. I think this is gonna come out nicely. This is awesome. So, uh, and then of course, maybe we'll throw some electronics in here and just bench test it to see, see if it works. So yeah, so I'm gonna leave you with some more. I know I put some close-ups up in the corners, uh, but I'm gonna leave you just with a little video montage of all the little bits and pieces and the body and everything on here. And I, uh, I'm really looking forward to building this and painting this body and displaying this. It's, it's going to be nice. Very nice. All right. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed my video. And uh, thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in my next. Take care now.